welcome back to the Little Breeders Corner. Today I'm doing an exciting unboxing. So I have two packages to unbox. One is a book depository book that I've been waiting for for months. It is here. I'm excited. I hope it is the right book. Oh my gosh, if it's not, you, this video may never see the light of day. But the other package is a box of books from Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads. She is the sweetest person and she sent me books that she had duplicates of, which I'm so excited about because literally all of these books are contemporary romances that I've been wanting to read for uh, months. So I'm really excited to unbox both of these books. First, we're gonna start off with the book depository book because it's only one book and then we're gonna go into Chelsea's books. Let's go. All right. It's not as satisfying as I thought it would be. <gasps> Thank God. Yes. Oh, it's my copy of Empire of Gold. Oh my gosh. Okay. So by now, my City of Brass reread vlog is probably already out. I reread City of Brass. I read it last year. I love this book so much. Then I got, then I got Kingdom of Copper from Book Depository, and now I have Empire of Gold. Just look at these beauties. Look at them. Look, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, this is the dream come true. This is everything I've ever wanted in the world. Oh my gosh. Okay. And now on to the books that I got from Chelsea. Oh! Okay, so she packaged them in an old Allocrate Junior box, which is so funny. And she like warned me about it like, Soleil, just so you know, it's in an Allocrate Junior box. So you're not confused when all of a sudden an Allocrate Junior box shows up on your doorstep. I'm like, well, thank you, because I would be confused. Oh, these are packaged good. Okay, let's see. How... How do these boxes even open? I think it is right here. Oh, that could have been bad. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, it's get, 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 get gone. Oh, there it is. Yes, I got it. Oh, oh my gosh, look at them. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is this? Oh, she sent a little. This is so cute. Aw, she sent a little thing for conventionally yours. That's so adorable. Thanks, Chelsea. Oh, look at these. <gasps> oh. This is wonderful. Look at them. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Literally every single one of these has been on my expected like reading list. Oh my gosh. So I've been wanting to read if we were us which sounds really cute it's about like four-sided like a, a square romance I, th I think they all they all like each other and then it just turns into a disaster or something like that so <laughs> excited for this one. Oh my gosh this one sounds cute super cute four days of you and me so it's about these two people and I think the story kind of like takes place over four years looking at like the same day one year apart for four years. Sounds really cute. Yeah, every May 7th, the students of Coffee County High School take a class trip. Oh my gosh. It's like their relationship over that time. Oh my gosh, then the tourist attraction. So I know Maddie from Princess of Paperback really loved this book and she's been wanting me to read it for a really long time. So <laughs> now I have a copy of it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it's about a place that has like a strict no tourist rule. And this guy Graham named his diner the tourist tap as a joke. But now a bunch of like tourists keep getting stuck there and keep coming, even though he really doesn't want them to be there. And then this girl comes along and romance. Oh my gosh, and conventionally yours. Yes, this one sounds really awesome. So it's basically like a Comic-Con, like convention gaming thing kind of story. And it's really gay, so very excited about that. Oh yes, there's a gaming tournament that goes on. Oh, and there's two infamous rivals and a road trip. That sounds great. Okay, and the last one is The Perfect Escape. So I've heard a couple mixed things about it, but I'm still really excited to read this because it's about an escape room. So it's about Nate and Kate. Oh, that's gonna be confusing. 
and they meet in the zombie themed escape room and they end up being in this weekend long survivalist competition with this really big cash prize that both of them like really need to win the prize for so oh <laughs> so those are all of the books that I got from Chelsea from Chelsea Dolly Reads because she is a wonderful sweet human being and just gave me her extra copies. Ah, I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, good because I've been in dire need of some more contemporary romance because I really like to read a like high fantasy or like a sci-fi or just like a more world building dense kind of book, like a thicker book but also be reading like a contemporary romance or just like a contemporary at the same time so I can kind of like take a breath from all the intense world building. <sighs> this is very exciting. Yay! And let's not forget Empire Gold! So these are the books in my tiny mini haul. I just filmed a really big haul of like the last couple months of books that I've gotten so I wanted to be a little more proactive in my book hauls but these are all the books yay so thank you so much for watching this short little haul video of mine thank you again to Chelsea for sending me such wonderful books it really made my week especially because I'm in the middle of finals week so haha <laughs> is any reading happening no not really is there going to be a lot of reading done in the next month to make up for this lack of reading because july was hellscape yes yes there will be so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video feel free to hit that like button and if you want to see more videos of me reading and doing bookish things then hit that subscribe button let me know what you thought in the comments down below if you've read any of these books if there are any exciting contemporary romances that you're looking forward to and otherwise you have a wonderful day bye